Fantastic, right? All right, are, are you all good? Yes? Good there. You can leave, yes. You can. Yeah, you can't handle the truth. People always mind the cool things about smoking. It's never the bad things, is it? <laughs> I, do, I do little bits of miming throughout my act. Uh, I'm not taking myself serious as a mime artist just because I'm on stage. Uh, it's lazy miming, the way we all mime. Uh, I do phones. Uh, I, you know, I don't hang them up. Uh, <laughs> open doors, leave them open. Uh, other mime artists come on stage after me and they go, fuck, stay at this place. <laughs> don't remember opening that. So, um, I'd just like to say that um, I have a real problem uh, remembering some of my jokes. Uh, <laughs> I have problems remembering everything, to be perfectly honest. I used to think it was, unless we forget, not lest we forget. <laughs> uh, it just didn't make any sense to me. Remember those who have fallen, unless we forget. <laughs> That's pretty much how your memory works, really, isn't it? <laughs> so we're here for a laugh, that's it, isn't it? We're all having a good laugh tonight, that's the plan. You know, there's a young bloke there, he's 13, and he's growing up, isn't he? You're growing up, we're talking down to kids. They're getting on with their lives. Uh, I met a 16-year-old girl in a chat room and she was an undercover detective. <laughs> <laughs> I'm meeting her at the train station tomorrow. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're all here for a laugh, aren't we? That's it. That's it. That's it. I know this because you've all got your teeth out ready, haven't you? You're all... <laughs> You're not doing it now, of course. I've mentioned it. You're probably licking your teeth now. Don't you? <laughs> Keep your teeth out, though. That's the anticipation of laughing. <laughs> Some people don't laugh. They just have their teeth out. That's all they do. <laughs> You're no good to me. And some people aren't laughing too, there's always that, you know. Some people watching this show, sitting with their partner, looking at them going, this is shit. <laughs> Told you I wouldn't enjoy this. What do you make me watch this for? And you're not going to laugh, because part of you died a long time ago. <laughs> mm, invisible fucker. <laughs> and you always laugh right away, just to make it look like you got the joke right away. You don't want people to tell you a joke and you go, huh. So you laugh right away, but it's not real laughing, it's just thinking laughing to cover for your thinking and then you do your real laugh on the back of it. Sometimes you don't do your real laugh, sometimes you do thinking laughing and then realize the joke's not for you and you go, ha, ha, no, no. <laughs> it's a good joke, you do thinking laughing and then you do your real laugh on the back of it, you go, ha, ha, ha. You know, a joke's really good and you want more? <laughs> Sometimes things are too funny and you can't handle anymore. <laughs> I remember we were all laughing once and my, and my brother goes, stop it, I'm going to piss myself. And then he did piss himself. <laughs> It 
last week. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yes, uh, what is my point? I, have done, I don't really have a point, really, um, other than to say that we live in a society where we're continually have people trying to sell us stuff, which is kind of slightly overbearing. Uh, I'm not going to go on about this, because um, I cover it pretty well. I'm a new DVD. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to say that uh, Mondays and Tuesdays shouldn't be together. Two of the worst days in the week, back to back. <laughs> That's stupid, isn't it? Nor should Friday and Saturdays, two of the best days. We should split them up, I think. I think it should be Friday, Sunday, Monday, Saturday, <laughs> Tuesday. Yeah. Wednesday and Thursday are fine. Leave them where they are. <laughs> Wednesday is the only day of the week you have to ask what day of the week it is. And then by asking, that's how you know it's Wednesday. Every other day of the week you know. Uh, everybody knows Thursday because tomorrow's Friday. We all know Friday. Saturday, just had Friday. No getting away from Sunday or Monday. Tuesday, we just had Monday. Wednesday, is it? Dogs have a different weekend from us as well. Because uh, one year to us is seven years to a dog. Don't know who figured this out, but... Um, <laughs> if it's true, that means that one day to us is seven days to a dog. Uh, or a week. Mm. <laughs> Friday for them comes around about six o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> My father used to think that the dog was pleased to see him coming home from work at six, but it was Friday. Anyway, you've got the gist of it. This is, this is, this is what I do. This is kind of, you know, I'm mad from my show. I hope it's observational comedy, but I kind of, you know, I hope it's not too blokey. That's my biggest worry. Always like to do jokes for girls, keep everybody involved in the night. Um, don't you hate it when you get an itchy fanny? <laughs> That's why I love a big handbag. Sisters. <laughs> Brazilians shouldn't be called Brazilians, they should just be called itchy fanny. <laughs> and they didn't tell you when you go for a piss with a Brazilian, it goes all over your ass. <laughs> there was a laugh of recognition there. Trying to move away from <laughs> Brazilians are called Brazilians, by the way, because they represent the deforestation that's happening throughout the country. <laughs> Get to the point where there's just one line of trees left down the middle of Brazil. <laughs> anyway, that's all from me. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you.